Welcome to lesson 66 of our interactive notes. We're looking at word problems involving liquid volume pages 5 and 6. Okay, you will need a highlighter just for a small part of this today. So our content objective for fourth grade MD measurement data A2. I can use the four operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, division to solve word problems involving measurement, including simple fractions and decimals. Language objective, I can use important numbers and keywords to solve problems involving liquid volume. Social objective, I can work with others to create models which prove the solutions to the liquid volume word problems. All right, what you need the highlighter for is um, filling up these beakers to the right level. Um, it didn't copy very well. So here, where the 600 is, this should be filled in up to that line, the 600 millimeters, milliliters. On beaker B, we're going to the line right above 100, so 150. And then in beaker C, we're going up to the line right above 700 to 750. All right, now let's go back to the top here. So read, Jenny has decided to drink more water each week. Last week she drank three liters of water. And this week she drank 2,000 milliliters of water. How many milliliters of water did Jenny drink in all? So we're looking for milliliters in all as a total. So if we look at our cubes, we circled our numbers, underlined our question, box keywords, eliminate unnecessary information. We really don't need to know that she just decided to drink more water. Now we can solve. Let's write an equation for the problem. Let n equal the total number of milliliters of water. Three liters plus 2,000 milliliters equals N. So she drank three liters last week, 2,000 milliliters this week. Well, we can't add those together because they're not in the same unit. So we have to change our liters to milliliters. <coughs> one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Milli has to do with 1,000. So to convert it, we're going to multiply three times 1,000. Three liters, we're cutting it up into milliliters, so there's a thousand in there. So three times 1,000 is 3,000. 3,000 milliliters plus 2,000 milliliters is 5,000 milliliters. Remember we have a lowercase m, then a capital L for milliliters. Okay, we have some more practice problems here. So we're looking at these beakers. If Mr. Simon pours 164 milliliters from beaker A and 248 milliliters from beaker C into beaker B, how many milliliters will be in each beaker. Well first we have to figure out what each one is. So to find beaker A, it currently has 600 and we're going to take out 164. Beaker B currently has 150 and we're going to add to it 164 
and we're going to add to it 248. And then beaker C has 750, and we're going to take out 248. Because it says we're going to pour, so we're going to take it out. So I'm going to do the subtraction. 600, take away 164. More on the floor, go next door, regroup 10 more. There is nothing there, so I have to go all the way to the hundreds place. There are 60 tens in 600. I'm just going to take one, leaving 590, and then I make this the 10. I bring the 10 over. 10 take away 4 is 5. 9 take away 6 is 3. 5 take away 1 is 4. Okay, next we have 750 that we're going to take out 248 from. I have more on the floor. Go next door, regroup 10 more. Numbers the same, zeros again, more on top, no need to stop. 10 take away 8 is 2, 4 take away 4 is 0, 7 take away 2 is 5. So, so far, beaker A has 435 milliliters. We haven't found beaker B yet, and beaker C has 502 milliliters. To find beaker B, we have to add. So we line up our hundreds, tens, ones, hundreds, tens, ones. 8 plus 4 plus 0 is 12. Oh, I see a 10. 10 plus 5 is 15, plus one more is 16. 2, 3, 4, 5, 500. So now in beaker B, there's 562 milliliters. So we poured it out of these, so we had to subtract, and we poured it into this one, so we had to add. Mr. Simon pours the liquid in beaker A into five containers. So we're looking at beaker A. He puts the same amount, that's important to know, same amount, equal amounts, in each container. How many milliliters does he pour in each? So we're looking at our milliliters, and we want to know in each. So beaker A has 600 milliliters. That's where that line is up to. We're going to pour it into one, two, three, four, five different containers. So we're going to take 600 and we're going to divide it into groups of five. So 100 times five is one is 500. Numbers the same, zeros again, numbers the same, zeros again, more on top, no need to stop. 20 times 5 is 100, numbers the same, zeros again. Partial quotient, 120. Because they were the same amount, that's why I divided, because I know the total, so I subtract or divide. They're equal amounts, so we divide it. Mr. Simon pours 120 milliliters in each container. Okay, next one. Mr. Simon needs to have three times, so when we see the word times, we're either going to multiply or divide one of those inverses, those inverse operations. Three times as much liquid in beaker B. How much more liquid does he need to add? So how much more does he need to add if he needs three times? We're trying to find the total amount. We need three times what's already there. So already there is 150. But we need three times the amount. So 150 times 3 Three groups of zero, zero. Three groups of five tens is fifteen tens. Three groups of one hundred is three hundred, plus one more is four hundred. 
So what, how much liquid do we need? We need 450 milliliters. We currently have 150 milliliters. So what do we need to add? Well, 450, we have to figure out the difference. Take out what we already have. Numbers the same, zero's the game. Numbers the same, zero's the game. More on top, no need to stop. We've got 450. Take away 150, leaves us with 300 milliliters. Now you could have also thought, well, what are, this is what we need to add. So you could have just multiplied by two. There's more than one way to get to the right answer. Mr. Simon needs to add 300 milliliters to the beaker. Okay, our final problem on this side in part one. Find the total amount of liquid in all three beakers. Express the amount in liters and milliliters. So we're going to have to do some converting. So first we have to figure out the total. We do not know the total, so we add or multiply. We have 600 in the first one. We have 150 in the second one and 750 in the third one. So these are unequal amounts that we're joining together, so we are going to add them. Okay, so let's see. 600 plus 150 plus 750. That's zero. Zero plus five plus five is 10. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 6 is 14, plus 1 more is 15. So we get 1,500 milliliters. But we need to express it in liters and milliliters. So 1 liter equals 1,000 milliliters. Milli means 1,000. So out of 1,000 500, I could take out a thousand and I get 500. That thousand I took out would be this, the one liter. Do I have, oops, too many zeros. Do I have enough? Another reason to have pencil. To make another liter, I need a thousand. I don't, so I would say 500 milliliters. The total amount of liquid is 1 liter and 500 milliliters. All right, now on to part two with our three column notes.